Y este, esta es la primera vez que se hace esto en Boston. Es la correcto? primera vez, no tenemos noticia, yo estuve haciendo un, un research ahí de, y nunca se ha hecho un festival de este tipo. Por supuesto, hay, existen clubes de comedia, existen qué sé yo, pero no hay una cosa integral de caricaturas, eh, humor, así de este tipo, primera vez que se hace en Boston, por eso lo estamos llamando, First time. Por eso lo estamos llamando el primer festival internacional de humor. Boston's. <laughs> eh, y claro, Boston's Common Learner. There's no translation for this in, in Spanish. It is I guess it is. not. You right. heard that at the it, beginning. It is what it is. So. I love the drawing there of the smiley face. He looks very demented there. Yeah, it's a, this is actually, actually the, the logo and the, the big face are done by a, a Colombian friend of mine too. Leon, Luis Luis de Leon, who was also a finalist in the uh, in the contest, mm -hmm. and who was going to come, but uh, unfortunately he didn't get the visa on, on time, and <laughs> he won't be able to make it too. But uh, it's it's a it's a very attractive uh, the design. I, I find it very attractive too. Hmm? I, I like I, it. It's very appealing. Did See, you design that? My friend from Colombia. <laughs> friend from Colombia. Oh, he just told yeah, you. The, the, okay. the whole idea, it's, it's my brand. That was in Spanish, I think. No, no, he just Probably told I you. said it in Spanish and he, he didn't get that. Yes. <laughs> Give me he a said break he was here. having. Lo único que le pido entonces al público presente y televidente que se que que asistan que hay muchas actividades las únicas actividades que tienen un admission fee son las noches de comedia. Por, lo, por razones obvias, de alguna manera hay que financiar esto, ¿no? Uh, hay, hay donaciones de muchas de muchas organizaciones, pero y muchas gracias al show de Fernandito por tenernos aquí también. Eh, pero bueno, de alguna manera hay que financiar, ayudar a financiar el evento. Eh, la misión de las noches de comedia es de 10 dólares solamente, es muy, un precio muy asequible. Muy asequible y, pero el resto de las actividades son gratis. Tanto la exposición de dibujos, que está abierta de 10 a la mañana hasta las 7 de la noche durante los días del festival, como las conferencias que van, que van a dar los jurados, muy, por cierto, hay un jurado incluso, un, un señor que es un PhD de Temple University, que es una autoridad mundial en cosas de cultura y medios de comunicación, Mr. John A. Temple, no, Mr. John A. Lent de, de Temple. Temple University, que es una, uh, he's a, a, a world known mm. uh, a figure in the area of uh, media and, and popular culture, And he'll be uh, giving a lecture on predecessors of cartooning in China mm. on Saturday. So uh, the program of event it's in um, it, it's, it's everywhere, but it's basically in elbusdelenguavida.com. Si no se enteran por aquí, lo ven en elbusdelenguavida.com. Aquí abajo está elbusdelenguavida.com. It's our website. <laughs> está, no sé si lo pueden leer aquí abajo, Luis. Pero ahí está el programa del evento y, y, y si asisten al evento Tenían copia del programa ahí, se enteran y la pasan más bien. Además, vamos a vender t-shirts con el, el Boston uh, logo, uh, logo y vamos a tener otras muchas sorpresas. Así que los invitamos a estar allí. De jueves a domingo que viene. Bueno, Mario did all the work for us. Okay. So I'm, I'm just going to summarize in Spanish and then you can do it in English. Así que okay. este festival <laughs> es la semana que viene, comenzando desde el jueves. Van a tener la, lo que han visto las caricaturas eh, representando la libertad y Ted Kennedy. Van a tener más de 200, alrededor de 200 Do, exhibiciones. 200, ¿sí? Y van a tener personas haciendo caricaturas y cosas de humor en vivo. Eso va a ser viernes, sábado y domingo. Y también van a tener profesores, eh, Hablando de las caricaturas y el dibujo, así que esto es algo que no se deben perder. Esto es en Cambridge College, comenzando el jueves de la semana que viene, septiembre 9. Okay, and then I can do the English? Yes. Is that what you just said? <laughs> yes. Okay. You can do the summary since Mario oh, has done I, all the work I, for how us. How can I do that? You know I can't. I'm not fluent. <laughs> Oye, me los show, los show son joking. show de actuación. I can't believe you did that to me on live TV. Actuando y cantando, los shows de actuación son de pegada internacional. No se los pierdan, que hay gente ahí muy valiosa. Yo, por ejemplo, que canto. Mario, let's um, go back. How long has this festival been? Is it an annual thing? Is this the first time you've done it? Or, uh, and who came up with the concept? It's the, uh, the, the uh, I mean, everything started last year when uh, the El Bus, uh, the uh, website that I'm publishing, Uh, got to its first anniversary and we started to talk about uh, doing something that, that is unusual in the Boston area, but it's not unusual all over the world. The, there are festivals like this, yeah. humor festivals in many other cities in the world, in Europe, in Latin America and things. So mm -hmm. uh, a friend of mine and myself, we started to talk about it and I said, we should have a, a festival in Boston. So I, I hooked up with the uh, Latino Professional Network in July mm -hmm. through my friend Jerry Villacres and its president, Diego Portillo. 
And uh, we started to talk about this and say, yeah, we can find some uh, sponsorship for that and let's do it because uh, there's nothing like this that has been done in the uh, Boston area. And, uh, and, and we came up with the uh, name Bostoons and actually it was Leon who came, uh, my friend mm -hmm. Leon who came with the name Bostoons mm -hmm. and it's, it's a collective effort. And um, from then on, we started to, to plan it and here we are, mm -hmm. practically uh, it's around the corner. And yes, it's, it's our idea and it's the first time that it's done. And, mm -hmm. um, and we, but we hope to, to have it uh, for many years to come and thank you to Cambridge College too for the great help that they're giving us though. I this. have another question. Uh, is there a difference in the people who design comic book art versus political cartoons? Uh, versus things like that. Uh, is it the same um, people that do it, or is it's, it a different? It's thing? basically the same set of skills. It's just uh, different, different styles. The people that, like, for example, mm -hmm. not everybody uh, is a specialist in uh, facial cartooning or, mm -hmm. or personal mm -hmm. cartooning. Okay, so there are people that are skills mm -hmm. to, that are able to to portray a, a face, and right. at the same time. Not not doing a portrait, but a caricature, which doesn't necessarily right. need to be disrespectful. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can uh, you can exaggerate certain features of the of the face of a person, and mm -hmm. uh, giving give it give that that person that portrait a, a new meaning, a new value, mm -hmm. without being disrespectful. Mm -hmm. So there are people who specialize in that, and there are people who do not have that set of skills, and mm -hmm. then tell a story. By by in, in a draw. This picture this makes cartoon, my shoulders hurt. Look at that picture. Yeah, this every <laughs> each of these cartoons has a story. It's a story told uh, that that tells, for example, here why a a, a, a woman. I mean, the lack of freedom in a, in a woman. Uh, and I don't I don't want to go a little deep, deep into that because I don't want to offend any uh, sensibilities or anything. But uh, this is a picture of lack of freedom, and this one is a also a picture of lack of freedom because this, as mm -hmm. you can see here, the guy is like uh, it's it's a slave of of technology. Yeah, <laughs> that's me editing. So and then <laughs> then again, you have uh, some other people who do not do this, who do comic, as you say. Yeah. And but basically, the set of skills is the same. And yeah. they said, said that you, you need to be able to draw because these mm -hmm. people are, are fantastic mm -hmm. uh, artists mm -hmm. in, in their specialty in, in drawing. Mm -hmm. And um, it's, it, it's just what, what they decide, what they like, what they like to specialize or what they have the skills for. Mm -hmm. Now I've collected comics for many years. Is the comic industry in Latin America a lot different than it is here? I, I don't know whether it's, I know it's huge. Yeah. I, know, I know that right now there is a, a town in Colombia by the name of Pereira, that is holding a, uh, a festival, a comic festival has been going on for a whole month. Wow. <laughs> so they are specializing in, in comic and they're big in this. And okay. Argentina too, yeah. Great. Well, best of luck in the event and we're going to go to a break now. We'll be right back with more of Fernando's Hideaway. I'll show Di Fernandito right after this. Regresamos ahora.